Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Cleo Denial doll. This video will be a simple face-up because I made this one to be a witch with a wig, so I was able to offer her at a slightly lower price point than my other dolls, period. At the time I'm making this video, this doll has been sold, but I recently restocked the shop with a few other dolls, so if you can check those out, if you'd like to check those out, the description box below has the link. So I've painted Cleo before, and this time I wanted to do something a little bit different with her face up. I wanted to really push the limits of her face sculpt, so I fought against her almond shaped eyes and made them more round. And her lips are also fairly thin, so I went outside of the lip line to create a fuller lip. And I'm actually super excited with the way that she came out. So after three coats of Mr. Super Clear, I start right in on the eyes. I try to get the general shape with the white and then go in with the upper lash line, which I made quite thick here. Once I put the eyelashes on, you really can't see that upper lash line too well, but I like to put it in as a base. Here I'm laying in the water line with a crimson red. The crimson red may seem pretty bold for the lash line, but or the water line, but it does fade with a couple of coats of Mr. Super Clear, so I just limit the number of coats I put that on that. Here I'm going in with a sort of a burnt sienna pan pastel and giving her some contouring and blending that out with a Q-tip as well as some pan pastel colorless blender. Here I'm pushing the limits of the lips, giving her a fuller lip. I was really a little nervous about how this would turn out, but like I said, I, I'm really happy with it. And then some black in the corners of the mouth. I'm coloring in the nostrils. And contouring in the philtrum and nose and chin area. And giving her some eyelids with some more contouring and then later on I'll go in and give a little bit of a line there to create the eyelid now I'm doing some blushing and then giving her some highlights with some uh, white color with it. I think it's just a white that I'm using here sometimes I'll use a light peach but I think I just did white with this one while I was making her eyes roundish I wanted to give her a little bit of a smoky eye so I'm going around the eye with some black pan pastel and blending that out using a tiny a flat brush for this. It might be a filver? No, it's a flat, just a flat. In the way that we edit, you can't really see the times that I break to go and add some Mr. Super Clear, but I am doing that periodically throughout the sculpt. The more you do it, the more that you learn the best points of using the, the Mr. Super Clear. I used to spray like after everything I wanted to save, and now I can I like to spread out and make sure I can do everything I can possibly do before spraying. So I can preserve as much Mr. Super Clear as possible. And so at this point, I can't really do anything else without, well, I've probably sp just sprayed the doll because if I add the eyebrows, I like to do some erasing and I don't want to erase the work that I've done underneath. So 
I've probably just sprayed it at this point. It is so hard to get these eyebrows the same shape and size. <laughs> So once I'm completely happy with the face, I go ahead and add the eyelashes. Usually I'll do that after the, as the very last thing, but I did that before I did the iris and pupil. No reason. So I decided to give her green eyes, and I started with just a base of like a grass green color in Derwent, and then uh, added a couple more shades of green and just blended it out with some white and then I wanted to give her a little bit of interest around the pupil so I colored it in with some burnt sienna or maybe that was a terracotta color and see I'm using several different colors of green to blend oh oh I'm adding an orange around the pupil so I do that before I, I color it with the pupil or black for the pupil darkening the outside and then giving some detail to the eye there and I'll go and add the pupil and once I'm happy with that I'll spray it with a few coats of Mr. Super Clear oops before I do that I'll add some highlights to the eyes with some acrylic white paint and I like to make sure that the eye is as white as possible so I never there's never too many layers of white on the eyes once I'm happy with all that, I'll add some uh, Liquitex high gloss varnish to the eyes and sometimes the lips. I'm not sure if I left this one matte. I can never remember without looking at it, but sometimes I leave it matte and sometimes I put the high gloss varnish on the lips. Sometimes I'll put just a regular gloss varnish. I change it up a bit once in a while. So like I said, the store... Uh, this doll has sold, but please check out my Etsy shop if you're interested in any other dolls. The description box below has the link. At the time I'm making this video, I should have one or two tattered fairies left and one or two, well, a couple of the convention dolls that were at a lower price point. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.